hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 19 Browns franchise rebuild. Still chugging away strong in Season 8, everyone, as always, playing offense only, simming that D, using that balance playbook. So we are cruising along Season 8 here. We got Zach the Dream Weevo right there. He's our quarterback of the future. We also have, who's the next guy? D'Antoine, the headless horseman. Hanoian, he's locked in. Wide receiver of the future. At least a few more years. Ellis Baca, the Dyson. He's our halfback. One head of our two-headed horseman with Carol, the magician. Tall. Both of them, free agents at the end of the season. Trying to re-sign Barker. He needs more Hello, money. Yeah which is not how to win yourself in my book. If you know anything about my negotiation tactics, goddamn Baltimore, I hate your face. Um, but we'll see. I, I want to sign him. I'm willing to pay him. Um, he's about to get his 100th rushing touchdown, which is nice. Uh, but I do have Carol Tall, so like if I want to run I want to run a two-headed rushing attack. But if uh Get out of my face, Baltimore. Oh, look at the aggression he had. Oh, break it. Um, but if I can't sign Barker, dude, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not breaking the bank, dude. I'm not gonna give you, I gave, I gave Zach Weaver a ton of money. But what I mean is Zach Weaver at the end of last season, the Zach, the dream Weaver, he wanted a bunch of money. So I was like, hey, dude, I know you want a ton of money. I feel you're worth it. Jesus Christ. Feel you're worth it, but I'm not going to give you that much money. He wanted more than a fifth of a billion dollars. He wanted a $205 million contract over like seven years or some shit. And I was like, dude, I'm not doing that. So I, so I was like, I'll give you, you know, something a little bit less. Like, I don't know, like 75% of that or whatever. And he was like, nah, dog, ain't going to work. I'll see you later. I'm going to test free agency. So we get to free agency. I was fully prepared to move on. And lo and behold, no one else wanted to give him that much money, neither. Oh, my God. <clears throat> the Dyson cleaning up the streets. So there was one other team that offered him a low ball contract. And so what I did was I, I dropped a few pennies on top of it. And so I'll give you a little bit more. So it turns out I signed his ass for basically what I wanted to sign him for in the first place. But he looks like a bitch. He's now my bitch. He had to sign for way less. So if I have to do the same thing with Barker... I'm cool with that, except for, oh, the goodest man. Bam! Brady Goodman coming through in the clutch. But my problem is, I don't think that he, well, first off, he's good. He's not going to get zero offers in free agency or one low ball offer. It's time for the magician, folks. We're bringing in the magician for one play in the first quarter. Um, so I need to try to sign him. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm trying. I'm thinking about it. Oh, the magician. It's not even a fucking... He didn't even have to try. And they always just show my shitty-ass fullback getting thrown to the ground instead of showing the real guy's celebration. Bonanza. He wins. All right. Cool. So back in the first quarter, we are going to... Let's see here. I'm going to actually try to... I'm going to try to get something out to the headless horseman. De'Antoine Hanoian, the number one receiver. Ooh, shit. It's a play action. Eek. I shouldn't have done that. All right, we'll try. I can break the play action if I need to. No blitz. They are not blitzing. Oh, God. He's wide fucking open, too. Boom. Oh, we caught it, too. Ooh, but that's why we call him the headless horseman, folks. He is not afraid to go over the middle because you can't fake off his head if he has no head. He's galloping across the field like a gazelle. Well, not really a gazelle, more like a thoroughbred. <clears throat> Speaking of bread, his bed, bre his bread basket was empty, and Zach the Dream Weaver tossed a big old roll of fucking hearty potato bread in there. Oh, Maben, thank you for tripping me. I'm so, I'm like, I'm at such a loss for fucking Maben, this fullback. Like he's shown signs of promise, and then he doesn't. I think I may after this game. Uh. Like, off camera. Look and see what I can trade his ass for. Oh, my God. God, God, God. <clears throat> because if I can trade him, like, straight up for another fullback, I'll think about it. 
I'm just, I'm just, I can't, I can't do it anymore, man. It causes me so much pain in my heart. My heart is full of pain due to Maven. If you've watched my videos, you almost every game, I'm like, Maven, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? It happens so often. The Colonel, wide fucking open. Boom. Oh, there we go. Patrick, the Colonel, Colonel, the wide receiver of the future. Right now, he's my third wide receiver. But we have uh, Marshall, Ping Pong Holloway, who is, he's on his way out, folks. He's got, he's 29, he's got two years. Love the guy. He was great. I signed, I got him in a trade, I think. I don't remember. Oh, there's the Colonel, wide open. Boom! Can anyone cover him? Oh, he's just, he's just showing us he's excited. Boom. It's like... He doesn't even know what to do. He's so ecstatic. All right, it's time for the Magician again. We'll get him in for a play. Let's see. We're going to toss it to the right this time. We're still trying to get Ellis Barker's 100th career touchdown. We're trying. I'm not putting it above the team, though. There we go. Carol Tall. Fake everybody. Oh, God. Those guys were not faked out. Baltimore has such a good goddamn defense. Wow, are you dead? Okay, no, he's not dead, guys. It was just a magic trick. Haha, <laughs> he was just pretending. Uh, we will take... Actually, let me get the... Uh, it doesn't seem to be running to the outside working very well. They got a lot of speed at linebacker. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, do up the middle. Because it looks like they're pretty aggressively running outside. And it's no better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right is back. Rode the fucking offensive lineman like Sea Biscuit. One yard. You guys are trash burgers. I wasn't. No, there was nothing to do. I ran. Oh my goodness. Do do do. All right. Let's see here. There we go. Get out of his face. Jesus. There's always so many men. All the men. Let it go to the two-minute warning. And we'll move on. Alright, let's take a look here. What are we gonna do? Um, we are going to. I'm gonna try play action. We've got the headless horseman running a deep post. We're gonna take Goodman. Actually, I'll let him run that drag because we just need two. Hallway's gonna go out. It may just be good to drag it out. Oh, Holloway. There we go. Fuck yeah, ping ponging. Let's do it. Uh, we will. All right, we're gonna run. I love how like I audible to a run and they automatically switch their coverage. Oh shit! Fake him out. Oh, he was aggressive. What's his signal? Hundredth touchdown. Oh, he kicks down the fucking door to the Hall of Fame, folks. He's like, I'm getting in this bitch. Where's my bronze bust? Hundred touchdowns. Boom. He's like, I just want to tackle you. Nope. His mother called. Told me it was a disgrace. Ooh. Sorry, friends. They all can't be winners. All right, let's see here. What are we going to do? We only have a little bit of time. We want to... We're going to do this. We got in a hurry Curry. We got the Colonel. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, no, Ian, friend. He literally, like, leapt, and it went right through his fucking hands. That was really sad. That was a very sad uh, thing that happened right there. Yeah, it's a very confident group, Al. You know, I really just want the confidence level to be higher than it's ever been before. All right, we're going to take uh, Goodman on a slant. Wide open. Oh, god damn, he grabbed him. He would have been gone if he wouldn't have got him on the fucking... It's going to be a lot of quick slants. We're going to take in a hurry curry and cur deep. Oh, my God. It's in a hurry curry. Oh, he snagged it. Call a timeout. Get down here. 
It is a great spot. Oh my god, it's the best spot I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a spot that good? I haven't. Alright, we are actually going to audible out of that. Alright, let's see if we can... Hot, I'm going to smart route Hanoi in. I'm going to bring him in. So he has a little more room to work. That works out perfect. Alright, let's do it. Look at this man! Did he, oh, got slapped down. They were really on top of shit there. Alright, let's go. Let's bring it more. We'll spread it out. We will do a... I think that may work. The halfback option gives me enough people running towards the end zone. Holloway's cutting it deep. Current, I'm actually going to take Curry on a slant. Right, let's see here. The Colonel into the fucking end zone. That's why we're keeping him around. That's why he's the man of the future. He's the Colonel, everyone. They scored before half. Those motherfuckers. All right, uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start out the second half with the magician. We're gonna get him going. He's gonna. He's gonna make everybody sing the "Do You Believe in Magic?" show song. Dude, your awareness is fucking terrible, dude. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I, I can't have my fullback be a liability. Like, what's the point of him being on the field? If he if he is not doing his one job, what is his point? What is the point of having him? Might as well be running by myself. Give me an extra fucking wide receiver out there. This guy. All right. My right tackle is trash. My fullback is trash. Holy shizzle. Let's see what they're doing with their safety. Come on. Fuck it. Sacked again. Oh my fucking god, dude. Fourth and 32. Stupid, dude. Oh, my God. So dumb. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Stupid. I hate playing the Ravens, man. Got to play them twice a year. It's dumb. All right, let's get back into it. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, we're geared up all right. Jesus Christ, dude. That's <clears throat> why so I hate playing Baltimore, dude. I can't do anything. <laughs> It's like there's nothing I can do. Their, their players are just ridiculous on defense. They always are. Them and Pittsburgh both. And I got to play them twice a year, of course. Like, I haven't been able to do anything for like four series. Just sacks. There's fucking Maven. Oh, there we go. Your aggressive ass nature. Get out of here with that. Dude. God. These guys. All right. He won his heart. Everybody's heart is won. How about that? Warmed heart, one heart. Everybody's heart is fucking marvelous. There we go. Hanoi and the Headless Horseman. He's going. Oh, God. All right. All right. All right. Let's see how it goes. It was a big gainer, wasn't it? All right. Let's see here. We're going to bring in the Magician. He gets two carries in one quarter. This will be it. Maven, swear to God, dude, please just block anyone. Holy shit, when you 
Except for the guy that you blocked, still managed to get over there and get a tackle. How about that? How funny. The guy who has one job. Dude, I'm so done with him. Alright. Let's see here. The goodest man. There we go. B. Good. Man, the goodest man, Brady Goodman. Ooh, strut your shit, friend. Bop, bop. Oh, yeah, you really showed him there, didn't you? Fucking Baltimore, dude. I can't, I can't right now. Yeah, it sure has. Sure been clickful. All right, we'll get the magician in for his last carry of the game. Get that out the way. Oh, Zach Weaver's 200th touchdown. We'll, we'll do that, maybe. Fake. God damn, dude. Baltimore's D is just rough. Five rushes for 25 yards, which is a decent. I mean, it's decent. It's just not what I'm, like, used to. All right, we'll flip it. We're going to actually... What are we going to do here? I want to do a play action. That'll work. So we got Hanoi and Kerr and Holloway. We're running three. Actually, I'm going to take Goodman across the field against everyone. Oh, yeah. They, they start. Oh, there we go. Fucking Hanoi and friends. He's running, bumbling, stumbling. Get out of it. Boom. There we go. Things are happening. Yeah. They finally. I don't want to do the same play again. I will do a similar play without the play action. Barker's going out. Taking his sister out to brunch. Oh, the fucking headless horseman. Boom! And he's in. The headless horseman galloped for Zach the Dream Weaver's 200th touchdown pass. Boom. Mm, that coach is sad. He's riding his fucking Tear River all the way to Baltimore. Yeah, we are. My defense is just giving up all the points. It's Madden trying to make me lose. That's what happens, dude. That's what happens. Madden's like, nah, dude. The Madden guys are like, nope. Sorry, friend. You aren't going to win. Ever. Oh, shit. Ain't nobody even like... His speed is... Boom, <laughs> friends. He was wide open. The Dyson cleaned the field of all... Why do they keep showing Mabin? <clears throat> I'm so sick of him showing that guy. Because he doesn't even do what he's supposed to do half the time. Like, the, when he actually blocks, yeah. But every other play, why don't they show him sad? Why don't they show him getting reprimanded by me, the coach, on the sideline? Son of a bitch. The goodest man. Get out of his fit. Oh, shit! My gosh. They're not even trying to stop the clock. Sorry that you've given up on life, friends. Sorry that you've given up on your life. Ooh, shit. I'm just going to let this clock run down. Mm. Just watch the seconds tick away, friends. Watch the seconds tick away of your life. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, let's stop him. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh. Just going to let you guys do things. Just going to keep trying to run it in. Just going to take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Trying to get that experience. Oof. There we go. Boom. Maven. Dude, he almost cost it me again. Almost cost me again. But it's all right. It put me over 50 points. Can't complain. All right, everybody. <clears throat> that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, why are those friends? Remind them to watch The Crazy Town 2, even though it's a lie. Because they shouldn't. But that's all right. We appreciate it. If you want to hang out afterwards, I'm going to go through the between the week stuff, try to re-sign some players, upgrade players, etc. If not, you want to leave, that's fine too. But for Jonas, I will see you next week.
I am. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, oh. the losses are piling up as they drop to one and five. All right, guys, here we are. I got what four offense. I got all my goals. Look at me. I'm just lining them up. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go the next week and do my uh. This is going to be week seven. All right, so I can try to sign two more players. Jump to next week. That's, this free safety, I don't think I'm going to try to resign because I have another free safety who has another year left. And this dude's already 28. So I don't really want to keep him into his 30s. I don't usually keep old players around. Kind of just like my rule of thumb with Madden. They tend to regress too much. I don't like it. I'd rather have a, a young guy on his way up than an old guy on his way out. Call me old-fashioned. Whatever. We are definitely, definitely getting there. So let's go ahead and upgrade these players. Tyrone Kidd, he is actually going to be my strong safety after this year. He's getting up there too. <clears throat> so I really do need to uh, get some backup strong safeties and free safeties, which is good because there's usually a lot of them in the draft. Uh, and I have plenty of picks. So that's so what I think I'm going to work on. I need to see everyone who is... Uh, Garrett Cohen, huh? Whew. There we go, friends. Boom. All right. Let's take a look here. We got some negotiations. All right. Weekly war. Oh, we're going to scout players. All right. <clears throat> my, uh, let's see here. My middle linebackers, I think I need to finish scouting. Need to unscouted. Uh, why is there a, this guy didn't even show up. All right, let's go down here make sure all these guys are good get this guy scouted that's really weird why is that guy not showing up on let me go to here then all right you're good centers Yo god there's three centers in the draft this guy's good uh let's go to actually let's do free safeties and strong safeties we'll do everything after the first round because i'm not really worried about them right now uh, fifth round Let's do that. This guy's actually... Was he early first round? That's fine. I'll, I'll check him out now. Mid first. That's cool. Strong safety do we have? I'll do fourth, fifth, and fifth real fast. I won't have enough to get all those guys. So, Daquan Banks. I like it. All right. Let me see real quick who is... I got to look at my... Uh, Actually, I'm going to do my uh, players and negotiate. Oh, i got to try to sign Barker, dude. Oh, my God. All right, let's negotiate with him. Let's take him down to six years. I'm going to negotiate the seven first because it's... This dude just wants all the fucking money. Six years. Hmm. Let's go take that down one, take that down one. Can we? Can we do it? Can we get you locked in? You're going to test out free agency, you son of a bitch. All right, then. We're, we're, we're getting rid of the Dyson, folks, I guess, huh? You son of a bitch. Ugh. I'm not happy. So he's 28. He wants, what, three years? No, I'm good, dude. He's 28 as well. He wants, what, three years? Ooh. So what does my right outside linebacker position look like? Let's take a look real quick. These guys are old. I didn't realize it. Do I have anyone to fill the gaps? Do I? Do I have any, anybody in here? So with free safeties, he, he'll he be gone, but I got this guy. So that's good. What about my right outside linebacker? I have... Oh, okay. So he's 78. He's 83. All right. I got two guys that are young. So I guess that's all right. He's 20. He's good. I need a, need a definitely there and left outside linebacker. Okay. I'm young there. So all right. Cool. All right. Where am I? I'm pretty young there. Pretty young there. Pretty young there. So, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm getting old at right tackle. Right. Oh, so I'm getting old there. So, let's see. What about left tackle? Am I old there, too? Yeah. So, I might as well fucking get all the line. All right. And then wide receiver. I'm 20. He's 27. Got a few more years. Kerr. Holloway will be 29 next year. Curry. Royals. Pierce. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, you know what? How old is Barker? These guys, I swear to God, dude. Barker, mother effer, dude. I love him. I love him, dude. He can't. He, but you know what? It's going to be the magician. We got Virgil Payne. 
All right, we'll go with we'll go with Tall and Pain with my two-headed monster, I guess. Man, that's really sad. That's ah, uh, you know, all good things come to an end. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get him in uh, I'll get him in free agency, huh? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking me out. This is uh, I love when you guys watch this stuff at the end. I don't think I'm gonna resign. I can't resign him. I'm not gonna resign him. 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 Or him. They're all old. I'll resign him and him. Dimitri middle books. I, depending on what he wants. Oh yeah, he's 26. Maybe I'll resign him. He's 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 getting up there. He's not great, but. All right, thank you so much. Leave some comments. I'll get back to you. But for Jonas, we'll catch you next week. Bye. Um.